Det er det der, der er I'm gonna delete that. Um, hi everyone, long time no see. I've been in a creative rut recently, so I haven't been doing YouTube and stuff. Um, and just like not being bothered, and I'm working like during the week a lot, so I come home and I just wanna go to sleep. So, today I'm going to do a like my favorite second hand items that I've ever bought. I'm not saying thrifted because some of these are bought like from vintage shops or like Depop, which is like where people sell second hand items. But um, yeah, I have quite a few. I had to narrow it down a bit because I have a lot of clothes and I love a lot of them. Um, so let's dive right into it. I got all my clothes here. <laughs> There's a lot of things on here that I love that I don't wear that often or I haven't worn at all out in public because um, I'm just not confident enough but I love them so much. So first thing is, um, yeah, it's this pair of shiny gold pants. Um, the waist is really weird so I always have to wear a shirt over the top otherwise it looks like I'm very bloated, which most of the time I am but it's fine. Um, but yeah, they're... My favourite pants, well, very loved. I don't wear them very often. I wear them to like parties and stuff. So the second pair of pants that are on my favourites list are these pink and yellow checkered pants. Um, I bought them from Glebe Market, so they were a bit more pricey because they were vintage, not second hand, like not from an op shop. Um, but yeah, I don't wear them that often just because they make me look a bit bloated and sometimes that's not heaps of fun and I'm not heaps confident so I don't want to wear that but they're beautiful and um, they make my beauty pop so I love these a lot so I have one coat on this list I have a lot of jackets but I have to just like not show all of them because I have a lot so Obviously, I couldn't do this video without showing my leopard print jacket. Also, that candle is going to catch flame to it, which is going to be great. Um, yeah, I bought this off Depop a while ago. I don't wear it that often just because I don't feel like being heaps extra. Like, con like I watch um, some people's videos and they literally go all out with their outfits just going into town. And I do not have the confidence to do that. And I think that's still fine. But I'm still going to love my items. I just wear them at home and like when I'm with friends so I don't feel embarrassed completely but yeah um it's faux fur obviously I have worn it to a couple parties and it keeps me warm might have spilt some drinks on it it's fine so I have one sweater yeah this is my pride and glory of sweaters um if you live in Australia and you go op shopping you may know that um, you don't find that many good things, like it's you find good things on a whim. Whereas I watch people in America and Canada shopping for stuff and they find like everything. So when I found this I like pooped my pants. Um, it's this DKNY sweater. Um, she's beautiful, she's got like bell sleeves, just like kind of a mock neck. Um, and I just love her and she's such good material and I found her and... And I was in a very, like, high turnover op shop, so I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Moving on to shirts. Yeah, let's get right into it. First is this little blue, like, sleepwear top. I have a few of these, and I love them to bits because they're just so girly and princessy and... My mum always says I'll light up like a flame if I go near an open flame in these because they're so synthetic, but it's fine. Um, so cute. Yeah, just like wearing this with jeans and sneakers. It's like the best thing ever. Um, next item is this vintage shirt, which is also very synthetic. I just love it and it has these ties here that you tie into a loose bow and it looks so cute it's just very nice and it's 
not like many things I have, so it's very cute. And it's not too over the top like shirts like these. Some of them have heaps of frills, which I don't want to wear heaps of. Uh, next is this little shirt. This style has been going around a lot recently on like everyone wearing shirts like this. But I found this at an op shop and it's very big on me, but I just wear a bra underneath that covers like my nipples so if I bend down and you see the whole what's going on my nipples are covered you know don't want any NSFWs yeah I don't know it's just very cute I want a dress like this like if this was in dress form I'll like die I've been searching for a dress like this for ages so if you have a dress like this please hit me up uh next I have this very simple singlet that I bought it's this little cow singlet it doesn't even have a tag on it so I don't know which is front and back but it doesn't matter um honestly love anything cow print I am always on the search for anything cow print which I never really find so it's fine though I have a cow print jacket and this and that's about it and this mug but it's fine so yeah, cow's my favourite animal, so I thought this is very appropriate. Who doesn't like a cow? Cows are beautiful, so... So I wouldn't be able to do this video without featuring this shirt. So I'm about to show you, it is this shirt, which when I purchased, I didn't appreciate the fact that I found this in an Australian random op shop, because like you don't find stuff like this, normally find them in vintage shops and they're like 50 or 60 dollars, which um is too much for me because I am very stingy, if you are friends with me you would know that, but I found this shirt and it's my pride and joy of all my shirts, I wear this all the time when I cannot think of anything to wear, I just wear this in shorts or jeans with sneakers and life goes on. So it is this black oversized vintage Elvis shirt. I do listen to Elvis a bit so like I can connect with this shirt. And then like when it's on colder days I wear this and turtleneck underneath and um you know Elvis will just always be with me with this shirt even though he was probably very racist back in the day but I'm just gonna appreciate the shirt. Moving on to dresses now. This Kendone dress that I can't even remember where I found it. I swear I found it in Queensland somewhere. But it is beautiful. It's just this like smock moo moo dress. Very colourful. I love the print of it. It is gorgeous. Um, I wear this like when I go down the beach. Honestly in summer I wear this every day. Before my boyfriend says I look like the fat Homer and the moo moo in it. It's like crazy Homer when he gets really fat, um, which I am not angry about because, you know what, I look cute in this dress, even if I look like Fat Homer, so, um, next is this nightgown that I have never worn ever because it's too long, but I would never be able to give it up because it, because it is, like, the absolute love of my life, it is just, incredible um it is this yellow nightgown she's got lace detailing the sleeves are like bell sleeves with these frills and then the bottom has a frill on it as well i just it's the most beautiful nightgown i've ever seen and i probably will never wear it in my life one because i have nowhere to wear it and two because i'll be too scared of like it I don't know, getting ripped or stained, but I will permanently have this in my cupboard until the day I die. I will probably want to be buried in it. She's beautiful. She is the mother. I never, sorry, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> this next dress is um, the most beautiful thing I've ever found. Uh, it's this nightgown with these like puffy sleeves. It is absolutely gorgeous. When I found this, I literally like just died. It was $3, I think, probably because of the op shop was like, who in their right mind is going to buy this? Well, obviously me, because I'm not in my right mind. Am I right? That was a lot of rights. Um, but yeah, it is this gorgeous lace 
night dress. Um, it is see-through, so I can't really wear it that much. But I have worn it to like my birthday party and I wore it to a festival. Oh my god, I'm such a festival girl. Not really, I don't go to any festivals at all, I feel. But I wore it to a festival once and I just wore black shorts underneath. But yeah, she is gorgeous. Um, we'll always have her in my cupboard as well. Uh, next is this nightgown that I found in an op shop in Nowra, I feel, maybe? I don't know, but I found her... The collar reminds me of like a clown collar that they wear, which doesn't really sit well with me because I don't like clowns like who does, but it is gorgeous. Also, I don't really ever wear purple, but I just couldn't turn this dress back. And I know it just looks like a baggy, weird clown mess right now, but like you gotta style it right. But yeah, I just wear this with like a black belt and then like chunky black shoes. And um, yeah. She's gorgeous. The last thing here is my favourite thing I have ever gotten. I didn't find this at an op shop. I bought it on Depop from the US so it was kind of pricey. But well worth it. I have never worn it out in public. I made my friend wear it once for a shoot. Which I will like put up a photo. But um... Yeah, drum roll please. She deserves the best. Um, it is this dress. I can't even describe how much I love her. Like, I want to be married in this dress. Like, I'm going to wear this at my wedding if I ever get married. I don't even know what to say about her. It's just like the... F I am so obsessed with, like, Victorian dresses and, like, prairie dresses and stuff. Um, it's made in Hawaii, which is so random and i love that about this i'm just going to show you a few pairs of shoes um and then this video will be done so like you can leave you don't have to watch me talk anymore i'm surprised if you've gotten this far in the video because honestly i'm boring but it's fine all right first pair of shoes is these docks classic low shoe docks i bought them at glebe markets in sydney um, and they're like original docks that they're made in England ones, which I'm very stoked about. Yeah, so they have like a chunkier base and they're just like classic, classic. All of these shoes are like amazing. So I don't know what list to go in, but uh, next is these flame shoes. These blizzies are the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. And I don't wear them that often, but honestly... Next shoe is these uh, sketches that I bought. They kind of look like Skechers Gemmas, but they are not because Skechers Gemmas are very hyped up and pricey. They are like I saw ones going for like two hundred pounds, which is like what two hundred and seventy dollars Australian, which is ridiculous. But I bought these off Depop. These little sketches, um, kind of falling apart, but I just love them. They're pretty damn comfortable because they're like vintage hiking shoes. Uh, yeah, so wear them a lot. Love them. So cute. These ones I'm actually selling on my Depop, so I'll link my Depop down below. Um, it's these. Yeah, I feel like it reminds me of that meme. It looks like horseshoes, horse hooves a little bit, but they are beautiful. They're actually quite comfortable to wear. Very heavy, but... I don't know but they're like all suede leather and it's just like amazing so if you want to buy these go on my depop because i'm selling them um so my last thing is these <laughs> cowboy boots honestly i don't know what to wear them with but i have wanted a pair of like genuine cowboy boots for ages and i finally found some and they weren't too expensive they were like 50 dollars, which is pretty good for cowboy boots in australia because some vintage ones go on etsy or gumtree for like 150 and I'm like mm. I thought being a cowboy was cheap y'all um I will love them forever have them forever yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um it is probably gonna be very long I will cut it down a lot because I just blabber on um tell me what you want to see next I hopefully will start making more YouTube videos because Honestly, I just love watching YouTube videos. Just some of them are very wholesome and I want to aspire to be that kind of YouTuber. 
which I'm probably not because I'm stupid, but we'll get there. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.